Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in an LG dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a couple of minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a 5-16 inch nut driver, 5 8 inch open ended range, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a Teflon tape. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve allows for a controlled water fill cycle. There are three main reasons why it would need to be replaced. The dishwasher gets very little or not getting any water. Water runs non-stop, causing flooding. And the water valve leaks itself, leaving water on the floor. To get to the part, we need to open the door. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws that hold the dishwasher to the counter. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Pull out the dishwasher from under the counter and lay it on its back. Next, using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws and remove the tool panel. Remove the four Phillips screws and take out the cover with insulation. Place the towel under the connector, and then using the 5 8 inch wrench, unscrew the water line. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screw that holds the green ground wire. Then remove the two screws that hold the valve's bracket. Slide up and remove the old water inlet valve. Place a towel on the floor. Using the needle nose pliers, slide the hose clamp off the valve. Then using the flat blade screwdriver, pry the hose of the valve's nozzle. Be careful, it may have some water inside. Using the flat blade screwdriver, disconnect the power plug from the valve's coil. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Rub the Teflon tape around the threads on the valve three to four times. Put just a tiny bit of soap on the nozzle and slide the hose on. Squeeze the clamp with the needle nose pliers and secure the hose on the valve. Reconnect the power plug. Install the valve on the base and secure it with the two Phillips screws.
Secure the green ground wire to the bracket with a Phillips screw. Attach the water line to the water inlet valve. Tighten the nut with a 5 8 inch wrench. Do not over tighten it. Install the insulation and the cover. Secure it with the four Phillips screws. Install the tour panel and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Place the dishwasher upright. Thread the power cord, the water line, and the drain hose through the holes in the divider and slide the dishwasher in. Pull in the fill and drain hoses and the power cord under the sink. Using the Phillips screwdriver, secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of the screws. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench and then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in and make sure the motor runs and there is no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.